this afternoon, Indianapolis firefighters were dispatched to the Amy Beverland School on Fox Hill Road for reported PI with entrapment. When they arrived, they found that a school bus um, that was stat that was sitting static in the parking lot with children loading the bus had jumped the curb, made contact with two of the students and an adult. Um, the two students were transported to Riley Hospital in serious but stable condition, non-life-threatening injuries. They are both 10 years old, and the uh, the victim, who is a an adult, was pronounced DOA on scene. And uh, at this time, the school is working with notifying family members. Uh, with the victim's identity. Um, Indianapolis firefighters checked out the rest of the kids on the bus. There were a total of 25 children on the bus. Uh, none of the other children sustained any injuries that required medical treatment. They were all checked out at release and released. The driver of the bus who was on the bus at the time was also checked out and at this time is working with IMPD to uh, move forward on the investigation. So um, at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Sean Smith, superintendent. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's um, very, very sad that I have to report that the fatality was a great educator. Ms. Susan Jordan, the principal of Amy Beverlin, uh, was fatally struck by a school bus this afternoon. Uh, as superintendent of schools and a representative of the entire school community, we lost a great educator today. Uh, we're going to work very closely with the authorities. We want to make it very clear it was an accident. And uh, we just ask that everyone in this community and beyond, please pray for our students and our great leader. Thank you. Yes, on behalf of the city of Indianapolis, on behalf of Chief uh, Troy Riggs, on behalf of the city of Lawrence, and Mayor Steve Collier, uh, we cannot uh, express uh, deeply enough uh, the sympathy and condolence that all of the city of Indianapolis uh, feels not only for the family of Susan Jordan, uh, but for those children who were affected by today's uh, accident. Uh, we uh, dispatched first responders, IMPD, IFD, uh, in cooperation with our Lawrence partners uh, were on scene. Uh, we will continue to be on scene throughout the rest of this evening with critical response personnel as well as chaplains uh, to serve the needs of the people uh, of this community. It is on tragic afternoons and evenings like this evening uh, when we are led to cry uh, and to mourn, uh, but it is on this uh, afternoons uh, like this afternoon that we are also reminded uh, of the goodness of the people that respond to tragedies like this uh, and that we are in fact one city. Uh, yes. We will endure. There will be tomorrow as sad as this evening has been uh, and uh, we express our condolences to the entire Amy Beverland community and to Lawrence Township Schools. I just want to echo Mayor Hogsett's uh, feelings about this. As many of you already know, I'm very close to the situation. It's very hard to talk right now. So uh, we mourn uh, Lawrence Township and certainly that tomorrow is what will come. Thank you. Mr. Superintendent, can you tell us what services will be provided to the students and to the staff tomorrow and, and the days ahead, sir? Thank you. We have unbelievable support from uh, our own staff, but uh, community, uh, Gallahue, all individuals involved in the support network are here on campus and be with us for several days. And sir, can you speak to, you spoke briefly about Ms. Jordan. Can you yeah. further explain? My understanding is that she was a great educator, loved by all her students and her staff. There was a prayer circle inside that building, again, showing the love for this educator. Can you further give us more about her uh, so far as being that great educator? Uh, this great school behind you has only had two principals in its history, and Susan Jordan is one of them. Uh, 22 years of leading this school. Uh, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about a legend. 
education and education. Um, as superintendent, I, I enjoy every single day and moment that I get to be with this lady. And I think I would speak to her staff at how much they love her. It's been very, very difficult for us this last two hours uh, because of the closeness and oneness that this community has and love that they have for this lady. And uh, again, we just ask for everyone's prayers. Um, this is a, a great example of a leader, an educational leader in, in, our, in our state and our city. Sir, what would you tell parents who today are explaining to young kids death? And that's a very hard concept for a, a five-year-old or a seven-year-old. Can you give parents just an idea of what kind of discussions they should have with their young kids so that when they return tomorrow, they will feel as best as possible? That's very difficult, but I certainly would echo Susan, knowing her as my leader, uh, she would want us all to do the right thing for the children and that everything would be okay. Um, that's just the type of person she was. She was here every day, never missed a day of work, just a phenomenal individual that truly cared about children. Um, this is just a tragic situation that we have, and we just ask everyone to continue to pray for us. And sir, tomorrow morning, when mm -hmm. children arrive at school, how many resources, how many people, how much effort is going to be put into caring for those children? We're, we're going to evaluate tomorrow. Um, this loss is going to ripple across our district of 15,000 students. Uh, we haven't made a decision on what we're going to do tomorrow, but I will say that when we have the kids back here, we'll have a lot of support wrapped around them, and we just ask that everyone join us in this. Chief, are there any indications yet as to possibly what went wrong, what could have caused this particular accident? Any uh, indications at all? I'm going to throw that question to Commander Bailey. Uh, he, they're in charge of the investigation. Commander Bailey, any initial indications of what possibly could have gone wrong, could have caused this? Investigators are just now starting to, to look at all that. They've spoken to several witnesses um, and people, uh, and they're, so they're still trying to gather those facts right now. So as soon as we know more, we'll be able to tell you more. And is the driver the having a standard number? blood test taken in this matter? Yes, sir. What is the school bus number? Uh, I don't know that off the top of my head, sorry. Do you know what the principal was doing when she was with those children? Was she walking with them? It's, it's still part of the uh, investigation, but uh, it was a dismissal time, so like many students or like many teachers, she was outside with the schools, or outside with the buses, making sure that the students got on the bus safely. Is there Commander any Bailey, indication you... that she tried to get in front of those kids? I don't know that. Commander Bailey, can you tell us what is happening around the school bus right now? Uh, the, the uh, coroner is here, and so, and, 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 and then fact team investigators are there as well, so. Um, we're just trying to be respect, as, as respectful as we can right now for her. Sir, do you know if there is any security camera video or any other witnesses do you expect to be able to shed some light on this? Uh, we've already spoken to several witnesses. I'm not sure on uh, su surveillance cameras or anything like that at this point. Did the bus hit any other buses or did it just kind of No, didn't hit any other buses.